Last year I suffered a bleed on the brain as a result of a snowboarding accident. I had very much ups and downs. Found it really frustrating not being able to concentrate and do the things that I've always done. I was very short tempered, didn't want to go out. And at work, in meetings I was getting short. And those people that know me well, I'm really patient with people. I lost that ability to listen to people. So I really struggled and got frustrated with myself. Unfortunately, I had to have a period of time off sick. Went to see our occupational health and thought it would be good if I went to see a counsellor. And it really helped me understand what I'd been through and the trauma and also put some processes in place to help me cope with stressful situations and the organisation has been really supportive. Nobody's pushing me to get back to work. It's very much taking my recovery at my pace. We have services that we can offer uh, that's open out to the public and it's open to the service as well. A mindful men and a mindful women, but they're slightly different on how they operate. For the women, it's about getting together, talking about anything that comes to mind. Exactly the same for men, only it's in a different location. It could be, you know, having a pint and doing something, maybe in a workshop. It does the same thing, it helps you offload. I did feel guilt through my recovery. Physically, I looked really well doing walking, I was biking, activities that made me feel good. But if people saw me, people would think I was okay, I was like normal. But inside was broken. It's like a broken bone in the body. There, physically, people can see that you've got an injury, but mental health, nobody can see what you've got and how you're feeling inside and how it's affecting you. Fortunately, I never have suffered from mental health. I've always been a real positive, glass half full type person. I've never had a headache before, so this whole experience has totally been alien to me. But it's given me such a great appreciation of mental health and how it affects different people and how it affects the organisation. Because there are so many people today that are probably struggling with the early onset of mental health conditions that don't know it. And if I can help raise awareness, that'll be a great thing to do for me. As an organisation, we're trying to put in all of the elements of support to get people to talk about it. So if they are comfortable raising it through things like occupational health, counselling services, we've invested in our staff to be blue light champions. That means they've got to invest in interest in the staff and supporting them. We've got people that have been involved in counselling before. We've got people that in their own time do suicide awareness watch. So they have a different skill set that people might find easy to approach that's enabled us to give a much more wraparound support when they need it. I don't find it hard talking about it now, because I suppose I've spoken to so many people. You know, going to environments where there's people I've never seen before, I find it difficult explaining it. It is still a bit stigmatised. People still see mental health as a, a weakness. But through my experience, it's made me think differently about why work-life balance is so important. Everyone needs to work to earn money to live but external, your friends, family, and having nice experiences in life is, is what it's all about, isn't it? You only get one shot, don't you?